Oh hey, hello. I want to say thank you to all of you who has subscribed to me and get me to 100 subscribers. It feels unreal. Thank you. When I first started this channel, my main goal is to empowering women in order to be their better selves and bring up the taboo topics that we often hear from the society. But now, I also want to add something different. I want to share to you my story, my journey, my life. Ever since I moved to Bali, my life is changing. I am no longer living in stress, no more insecurities, no more feeling sad or lonely. I feel like I belong here, you know, and this island makes me happy. A month has passed since I moved here, and today I visit Nusa Lembongan, an island next to Bali. It's a free trip from one of the boat company here, celebrating Independence Day of Indonesia, which is great. I come here with my friend and eventually I make friends with others too. It feels great to be able to connect with new people and share your stories with others. A week after Nusa Lembongan, me and my friend go to this amazing waterfall called Teganuman. What I love about Bali is that it's not only about the beaches. They have more to offer and it's all beautiful. I mean, look at all this amazing view and I'm blessed to be able to get this shot. Amazing. If we go up, this place is connected to a place called Blancina. Uh, the sound of the river is so peaceful and I just discovered one of the cutest restaurants here. They have this cute nest bird for you to have an Instagrammable shot, a pole and even a giant swing, which I forgot to shoot, but it's amazing. I feel blessed living in Bali. I have to say that this is probably the only city in Indonesia where you feel like you're not in Indonesia because all of the foreigners that you see. It's crazy. By the way, today I am about to move to a new place, temporarily move because I don't have my own place yet and I'm planning to go back to Jakarta but I think this place will be nicer than my current place. I pack my clothes, all my gadgets, cables, this and that, things that I own, you know, all the stuff. I don't own so many stuff, so it's easy for me to pack and go. Well, I decided to live a nomad life since I'm no longer working 9 to 5 anyway and it feels great. I think this is the best decision and way of living that actually fits me. I love uncertainties and challenges. I guess this helps you grow as a person and to appreciate all the small things that happened in life. Ever since I moved to Bali, I feel blessed. I am a happier version of me and I can't wait to experience more of my life. Thank you for following my journey today. I will see you in the next episode. Bye.